you know, Hillary Clinton got a mind problem. Yeah. This is why the DNC is broke. Yeah. Pay up to $9 million. Mm. Allegedly, we'll say alleged. Mm. For a dossier that can't be verified. Mm. That's well, right. the key players is Barack Hussein Obama, yep. the Obama administration, uh -huh. the DNC, yes. Hillary Clinton, yes. and her campaign, yes. the FBI, yes. James Comey, mm -hmm. Carter Page, yes. Christopher Steele, yes. Rod Rosenstein, yes. Sally Yates, yes. Peter Stark, mm -hmm. Lisa Page, mm -hmm. James Clapper, yes. Loretta Lynch, yes. Andrew McKay, yes. Robert Mueller, yes. George Papadopoulos, yes. and Sue Susan Wright. Yeah. And don't forget Adam uh Adam Shell. Put him in there too. Adam Shell. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, put him on in there. That's Write his name of, in there. That's full, full of, of he's full of sugar on the IC. Yeah. <laughs> let me can I let me just give you a connection right quick. Okay. I'm gonna run it down real fast. Run okay. it down. Lynch. Loretta Lynch mm -hmm. was appointed to the U.S. Attorney in yeah. Brooklyn, New York. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. From 1999 to 2001, by who? President. Bill Clinton. So Bill Clinton hired Lynch. All right. That back was in, 1999. In 1999. Okay. okay. From 2003 to 2005, Lynch served as a member of the Federal Reserve Bank, which is privately owned corporation, mm -hmm. which are, uh, which is oversees other banks, okay. numerous of different banks. Okay. Uh -huh. Several of those banks and their executives Okay, mm -hmm. have donated to the Clinton political campaign mm -hmm. and to the Clinton Foundation. Okay, mm -hmm. you got that so got far. That. All right, and I'm gonna say alleged on everything because I'm gonna let us in. Okay, yeah. In 2010, President Obama reappointed Lynch as U.S. Attorney in Brooklyn. Then in 2015, Obama appointed Loretta Lynch as head of the U.S. Attorney for the Nation. Okay, so now she's U.S. Attorney, right? Okay. All right. So during Hillary Clinton, the email investigation, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. Lynch was over the DOJ, the Department of Justice, okay? Uh-oh, where right? you going, girl? You know I'm coming I'm, somewhere, I know right? you're coming somewhere, All right. where you going? Remember she met Bill Clinton on the tarmac. She met him on that tarmac. Who was her previous boss, okay? Uh-oh. She asked Comey to change the word into a matter, did she not? Yes, she did. Okay, Lynch should have recused herself because of conflict of interest. How biased are you to be the one to oversee the investigation of your previous boss wife? Okay, next nugget. Ooh. Call me, call me, call me, yes. In 1996, Comey was appointed to Senate Committee Investigator Council to investigate the Clintons in Whitewater. Uh -huh. Okay, he found no wrongdoing. In 2000, Comey was appointed by Bush as deputy U.S. attorney. He investigated Bill Clinton mass pardons mm -hmm. as he left office. Comey found no wrongdoing, okay? In 2014, Obama appointed Comey as FBI director, okay? Lynch was Comey's boss, all right? As she was the chief law enforcement officer of the nation. So isn't it ironic? that Lynch, okay, who was previously appointed by Bill Clinton, mm. okay, and formerly an employee of the law firm that is connected to Hillary Clinton email scandal, was in charge of Hillary Clinton's investigation, oh. along with Comey, who has investigated the Clintons plenty of time, but found no wrongdoing, okay, who was also appointed by Obama, both was appointed by Obama, okay? And it turns out that Lynch and Comey have known each other for decades. Neither one of them have any credibility. Oh, all of it is biased. They, they both should have recused uh -huh. themselves. We need transparency. And what yes. we see, a big cover up with the FBI, the DOJ, under the Obama administration, along with Hillary Clinton, her yes. FA, yes. and the DNC, yes. and the one that even formed this fake dossier. GA. All of them hated this president. That's right. And they were trying to derail his campaign. That's right. Now they're trying to use this Russia story yes. to take down, to undermine Mine, his administration. Right. And the, the players that did not like our president signed off on a lot of those slides of war. And here's the deal. What judge signed off on those five? What judge? Right. Yeah, who, who, yeah. What was the judge? And what 
off of what basis? That's right. That's right. What information did you present to these judges? And, and how did the FBI allow a dossier to be the basis for even bringing out, bringing up a warrant? You all didn't verify that Fire? information. You're That's supposed right. to be the Federal Bureau of Investigation. You supposed to have investigated that That's before right. you even took to, that to the courts. That's Not right. take something that old what nasty Christopher Steele. That's right. Because he didn't like the president threw together and y'all yes. present that to the court. They so now I'm even looking at the judge. Who, Who? was the judge? Who? Was it the same judge? Mm. Was it a different judge? Mm. Because I heard that they were issued three FISA And warrants. was it a paid off judge? That's right. Girl, with everything that has gone on and that I've read, nothing has absolutely nothing to do with Donald nothing Trump. Nothing has, none of this have nothing to do with Donald mm -hmm. Trump. And Rob Rosenstein, if I'm not mistaken, he approved another Pfizer uh, warrant after the inauguration. So after that Trump means was Ron, inaugurated. So, so that Rosenstein, Rosenstein, he don't too much care for our president. No, either. no, no, no. There's a lot of, it's called deep state. There's a lot of snakes that's in the swamp, okay? Mm. That this swamp has to be drained. Yes. But it's a lot of them sitting up there that are Obama leftovers and operatives, people that do not like our president or his agenda, right. that is fighting against our president right there in his face. What I want to know is why are they so desperately and still desperately trying to stop him? That means you all, it's something that they it's don't want It's something deeper to. and it's more yep. stuff that's coming to a head. There's also a second dossier. Who made that up? Did they there make that a, up over in the middle of the night? The, there is a second dossier. See, because you, you will never be able to sway me right. because these FBI agents were biased. Right. How do you expect the American people to believe in the FBI and that they're going to do right by the people That's when right. they've done wrong and they've covered their own track? What they've done was they took a Russia investigation yes. and have misled the American people. Yes. They've undercut their own bureau yeah. and right. they tried to undermine this president. That's right. Let me go through this real quick. Go ahead, There girl. was a second dossier from the Democrats that somehow made its way into the hands of the FBI and is being used in their investigation. The agency is in the midst of an investigation into whether the Trump campaign colluded with Russia to win the 2016 presidential election. This second document, like the first, is highly controversial. For starters, its author is Cody Shearer a political activist mm. with strong ties to the Clinton administration in the 90s, okay? He has no experience in intelligence, which make his involvement with the document that could reflect badly on Trump look suspicious, suspiciously partisan. And this second dossier came by the way of who? Christopher, Christopher Steele. Steele. Christopher Steele, the nice. ex-British I had the ex-British intelligence officer who authored the first dossier gave the new sheer memo to the FBI in October of 2016. Okay, apparently he received Shear's work from an unidentified American contact and handed it over to the authorities in effort to give the FBI more evidence for its investigation and still also noted that he couldn't vouch for the claims on the second dossier. Wow. So he had unverified information on the first one, unverified information on the second. Why the hell did the FBI take the second one when they couldn't even confirm the first well, one? Well, then him? why in the hell is Mueller still investigating? What the hell is he investigating? Because if these dossiers are not verifiable, if you going on some he say, she say stuff, yeah. I mean, what are you, what kind of FBI, what you, this is murder she wrote? This is what kind of, what is this here, Sherlock Holmes? Because we right. can clearly see. We, this is disturbing That's to right. see how the FBI, the yes. DOJ, the DNC, yes. and Hillary Clinton campaign all oh, oh, was working in cahoots together colluded. under the Obama administration. Yes, even and, President Obama. Uh -huh, and you, see, you, you are the one that colluded with Russia. And Mueller don't need to talk to President oh, Trump. No, you need to talk to these FBI yes. agents and the DOJ, that's the right. DNC, and yes. Hillary Rodden, Clinton, whatever that's her right. name is. And then look that's yourself you. in the mirror, that's right. Mueller, and talk to yourself. You, it's time for an investigator to investigate the investigator. That's right. Because something is definitely wrong you here. You all done sat here, done wasted okay. all of this money and misled the people. That's right.